Hi there, I'm Moksh and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'll show you how you can protect your admin. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can restrict the access to your WP admin. But in this video, I'll show you how you can change the default login URL and also prevent brute force attacks on your WordPress login. So we'll use plugins to perform both of these tasks and to prevent the brute force, we'll use a WPS limit login plugin and to change the default login URL, we'll use the protect your admin plugin. So let's go ahead and first install both of these plugins. So right now I've already installed protect WP admin. So let's install the limit login plugin too. So you need to search WPS limit login and you see this plugin here just install this plugin and activate it and after the activation of these plugins we'll configure both the plugins and we'll see the effect together so let's activate this plugin too okay so now we have downloaded and add activated both the plugins so let's go to the settings of WPS limit login attempt so in this let's keep the default entries it'll allow three allowed entries or let's make it five after a period of in 20 minutes and after 12 hours we can retry and it's logged out for 24 hours and email the admin after two lockouts you can check this option and make it one lockout and let's save this option you can even whitelist your IPs from here and blacklist some IPs too and the changes will be logged here also now let's go back to our installed plugins and let's configure the protect WP admin too go to the settings here or you can simply go to the settings and protect WP admin here click on this enable and give it a new custom login URL such as um, log me in and let's click on save and OK. Right? So now we have configured both the plugins. Let's log out and let's remember this login URL, which was log me in. So now you see we see the WP login page here, and also we see the WPS login limiter here, which is protecting our login form. Let's try some random usernames and it shows four attempts remaining remember we set the attempts to five and otherwise it will lock us out and three attempts remaining and above that you can see in the URL section we have a login in the log me in that is our custom login URL that we had set so this is how you can set both of these plugins and if you don't want this plugin protect WP admin after you have changed the login URL you can simply uninstall that plugin too so that that's all for this video and it's simple to change and configure plugins and so I'm sure that you can also do this so I'll see you in the next video then